see me? Hey y'all, got a treat for you today. Camp cooking time. We're gonna do it on a campfire. Let's clean up our fire pit. Sometimes when you get to camp, you gotta make the fire pit your own. Oh, look at that big, big old fishing worm, y'all. If this was a survival trip, we'd be on the way. Worm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get my fire going out here and use this little U-shape. I'm gonna put my grill right here and be able to rake coals in and cook with them. You can't see me, can you? Now, I could use this little guy. Can you see it? I've got a, a opening on this one. I'll put it in the, in the uh, description. I'll put this in the description below if you want to learn more about it. It's a little grill grate you can get and set it on the rocks and cook on it. But I have, I have this stainless sheet that I'm going to use. And I have four of these stakes with the little triangle edges that I shaved down to fit in the holes. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you may have seen me cook on this before. This is like my, oh, I don't know, third or fourth attempt at a backpacking grill that I really liked or like. Huh, there we go. Let's get a fire going. And brought along a little fat wood to make lighting easy. And assuming that we get the light off okay, we got this nice split oak we're cooking on. All right, so first things first, we need our pork chop to marinate a little bit. So we're gonna pat it dry. And I know this doesn't make sense because we're gonna wet it back, right back up, but this is what the lady said had to happen. She said it was important in her recipe, so I did it. Then, my Dijon, my Dijon mustard. So on that side of the pork chop, on that side of the pork chop, and we're just gonna rub it around. Get some of the air out of there. Man, there's a lot of airplanes today. When did we start letting people fly again? Pork chop goes back in the cooler. Oh yeah, I've got one more secret ingredient, the chef's secret. I'm using white, you can use red, either way it doesn't matter. Half this dish kind of calls for a white and half of it kind of calls for a red. I seem to have missed the ingredient rundown, so here you go. We've got pork chop, yellow onion, beef stock, your wine of choice, Greer cheese, olive oil, butter, thyme, salt and pepper. For our bread, we're using an Italian bread with olive oil, garlic powder, chives, and Greer cheese. Put some olive oil down in the pan. I need my cutting apple. You want to do your onion slices pole to pole end to end. I'm using my buck 110 for all my cutting needs today. I normally wouldn't use two onions in anything I cook for myself, but these onions are going to cook down as they caramelize. And this is probably a better uh, campground meal so you have some place you can deal with all your trash and your stuff that needs to be kept cold. That fire is making me sweat y'all. Because I can tell you from my own experience taking onions, backpacking, and carrying out the parts you don't use will smell everything up. No 
Now we want to start off over some pretty good heat. I spared you the tedious process of getting the fire going again. It didn't exactly move very easily. So, kind of the key to this French onion soup is we want the onions to start to brown off and mix them a little, brown off a little more. And we want to keep doing that, eventually taking them over a really low and slow heat. If you're doing these at home on the stove top, you've got like a 20 minutes to 45 minutes worth of onion cooking. All right, let's just, let's see here. They've been going for been going for a minute or two. Oh yeah, see the little brown bits. That's what we want. Woo! Hot. So now, just every couple minutes, we're gonna pick it up and give it a stir. And now, honestly, when we're caramelizing our onions, we're not really looking for this blackened. You just want them to brown. If you're at home on the stove, you want to turn your stove down, you're too hot. But, you know, out here in the woods, you're going to get a little char sometimes. It's about time for the broth. There we go. So we got beef stock. And you want to take and scrape up any little bits with that beef stock, deglaze your pan. And a little bit of our beverage of choice. Add in our thyme. Now, I'm going to pull this off the super high heat. I'm going to move it off to the side here. I'm going to loosely cover it with some foil. And we're just going to let that guy cook away for a while. Alright y'all, <laughs> let's sear off a pork chop. Are you ready? Let's see how our cook is doing. Ah. Oh, smoke in the eye, smoke in the eye. Well, not quite a sear, but here we are. All right, that side's looking a little bit better. Let's see if we can get that side a little brown. Let's see, did we get a, start to get a little edge, a little brownness on that side? There we go, there we go. Let's get that guy, whoo, it's getting hot. We're gonna hunker that guy right in there with the onions. We're just going to set it off to the side on this rock. We can go back and forth or whatnot. So this calms down a little bit. Now let's see here. Before we get too crazy with this guy, watch this. We're going to add a little butter on top of that guy. Yeah. A bit this time. Alright, I just checked the temp on my pork chop. It's just about done. 
So we're gonna take and we're gonna get let's see here. Now I'm just gonna set them off right here. We're gonna pull the herbs off and I cut my greer into little slices at home and brought it with me, ready to go. Oh, that's a mountain of Greer. We're going to let that start melting and work on our toast. So, a little olive oil on our toast. A little garlic powder. Powder. Let's see how the toast is coming. Oh yeah. Woo. All right, so now I've got some chives. And to glue my chives down, I've got some more Greer cheese. This time I plain some up nice and nice little shreds. Maybe for presentation, we'll put a few chives up on top to stick into the melty cheese. Now we're going to transfer a lid over to melt the cheese. At this point, I'm really just letting the liquid reduce down a little bit in the pan. We can pull this and eat it any time we want. The pork chop's done and cheese is done what it's going to do. But I'm just letting it reduce a little because it's not French onion soup. It's French onion pork chop There we go y'all French onion pork chop some bread to go along with it. Let's dig in and give it a taste Need a cutting tool it's Pork chop Let's see. First let's try to buy these onions <laughs> What can you be mad about a caramelized onion? Can, can you see it? I know the sun's doing funny things. Mmm. What can I say? It's a good one. I picked it out for my anniversary dinner. We'll see you on the trail. But it was a delicious anniversary dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll have to repeat it that one day. Yes, we will have to repeat it.